Good morning. Happy Monday. Today I'd like to share with you some of my favorite frugal secrets to holiday savings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got about seven for you and I'll be back in a minute. Good morning, happy Monday, and uh, at the time of this recording, this will be airing on what is known as Cyber Monday. Good luck with your shopping and your saving money, and let your fingers do the researching as you sit in your cozy, warm environment, hopefully with a cup of hot chocolate at hand. What a great way to shop. I don't know about you, but I'm not in love with the crowds and the tripping over people, but that's just my opinion hopefully everybody's doing well on this monday morning hopefully you had a great thanksgiving weekend came home traveled safely etc etc as always 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 i wish the best for anyone listening all right so first things first setting up a holiday budget okay you know you can't really navigate anywhere unless you have a good road map okay so I consider a budget a roadmap, all right? So let's set up a small holiday budget, whatever the number is that you're comfortable with, whatever that number is, and work within that number. If you don't do that, what happens is if you don't keep track, if you don't set a goal or try to keep within a number that you choose as your holiday entertainment or slash shopping budget, it could get out of control. So highly recommend setting up a holiday entertainment slash gifting budget all right if you've not done so it's not too late uh set one up um before you begin your great traveling and shopping expeditions just saying now next thing scale things down um unless it's you know affordable to you all your debts are paid living comfortably then great you can have bigger crowds of entertainment many people need to scale it down and be honest with themselves about their entertainment budget instead of having a party of 30 you might consider having a party of much smaller than that okay and inviting the key people that you definitely want to spend some time with at this time you could always create other gatherings in the future uh, but pace yourself spread it out spread spread out the wealth if you will and not put your eggs all of your eggs in one party or one basket and then find yourself scratching your head for the remainder of the holiday season go where did that money go what <laughs> next if you're going to entertain i strongly suggest simple simple menus uh consider potluck uh parties um all the fun stuff we just narrow it down to just Maybe getting together and swapping out cookies, uh, cookies, hot chocolate, or different flavored popcorns, or some sort of budget-friendly gathering where people have fun. The main thing is to get together and have fun. The main thing is not to uh, uh, be braggadocious or spend, you know, like out of control spending and scratch your head in January. As I say every single year. January still comes. Just saying, just saying. All right. Uh, next, don't shop if you are fatigued or distracted. Now, that may sound simple and that may sound logical, but it is very important and it is key. Shopping when you are tired, shopping when your mind is elsewhere, 6,000 miles away from home, if you will, uh, can lead to disastrous spending decisions which at the end of the day costs unnecessary money and funds where they could be going elsewhere. So do not shop when you are fatigued or distracted. And by the way, that rule of thumb shouldn't only be limited to the holidays. Keep that rule of thumb the entire year. If you are tired or angry or hangry, a little bit of hungry and a little bit of angry, do not go shopping at that moment. That's really a really smart and wise uh, tip don't do it i highly suggest you don't do it all right 
Uh, next, uh, try to find some me time, you know, with all this shopping and hecticness and running and jumping around and trying to coordinate, especially folks with large families, okay? Folks with large families, there's a lot to remember to do. And especially if you have a perfectionistic personality, those could be, even though these are fun times and well-meaning times to do these things, and we love it, don't get me wrong, pace yourself a little better, take a little bit of me time. Whether that me time is 15 minute break every day with your favorite cup of hot cider or whatever it is that you love to enjoy during the season, or just take a brisk walk or just get on your elliptical machine. When I get stressed out, I go on my QB. I like to do that. <laughs> I'm like, no, 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 no. Just zone out, put on your favorite music and just, you know, do whatever it is that helps you to take some me time for who? For yourself. Let me tell you something. The hardest person to consider in life sometimes is yourself. We love being generous for others and we should be generous and caring and kind to others. However, if we don't recharge our own batteries in life and don't take care of ourselves, even if it is for that half hour or 15 minutes a day for yourself, it is highly important to do that. The way you can function better to continue to bless other people at the same time. So don't look at it as like a very selfish thing to do. And it is okay to take a little bit of me time. There is nothing wrong with that. In fact, it's actually necessary. It's actually necessary. Um, shop online whenever you could. There are a lot of deals out there that are free shipping, uh, you know, certain days of the month during this period of time where you can really, really luck out. And, uh, you know, shop online with great intention, have a plan and ex execute that plan of action, whatever it is. Um, do things with great intention and have a plan. I know it sounds like a whole lot, but it's really kind of not. It's like just not being that drifting balloon that I mention every now and again, again, that balloon that drifts from place to place with no clear direction, having nowhere to go, but wherever we don't want to do that. When, whenever we do things, it's really a best bet to have great intention and nine out of 10 times you're going to end up with much better results. Honestly, I found that, that that works in my own personal life. Like if I do things with great intention and come up with a plan ahead of time, does it always work? I would say eight to nine times out of 10, yes. But always know there's a possibility that it's not always going to work. And don't get too sad if it doesn't, because I'm grateful for the eight or nine times out of 10 that it does. So I look at it that way and I find it's very, very helpful. And um, Last but absolutely not least, and this is important, take that breath. Remember the true reason, the true reason we do these things, the true reason we wrap the gifts, the true reason we shop, the true reason we want to let our loved ones know how much we love them, how much we cherish our families. But what is the true reason for the celebration? I know what the true reason is for me. and We should never, ever forget the true reason for the season. There you go. All right, everyone. I want to wish everybody well, and I hope that these tips help. I know they will. They've helped me. So hopefully it will help you. And don't forget to take a minute out to say this, to look around you, appreciate everything that you have, and always know that every single day is definitely a gift. Have a great day, everybody, and take good care now. Bye-bye.